I'm on a roll here tonight. So, another video from me uh, to you. Here's the latest, and uh, I have a whole bunch of things on my agenda tonight uh, for reading um, or disseminating some information or something of interest um, for uh, hopefully some people out there. So uh, here comes the latest um, regarding Dr. David Kelly. Now, you know, you, you may, some of you may remember, he was the, uh, um, one of the, uh, weapons inspectors um, UK uh, from the UK uh, in Iraq and he was uh, um, essentially a, a governmental scientist and uh, a few years back uh, he met his demise by essentially turning up dead um, a few miles from his home after giving damning testimony uh, to um, the press and the British Parliament regarding the non-existence of uh, WMDs in Iraq. And his uh, death was officially considered to be a suicide in the British, in the British press. So here's the latest tidbit regarding his case, and I'll read you some excerpts here. Well, the latest news here won't fuel any conspiracy theories <clears throat> or bring even more serious questions about the alleged murder not suicide, of former UN weapons inspector David, Dr. David uh, Kelly. <clears throat> so, for those of you who don't know, Dr. David Kelly worked for the Ministry of Defense in the UK as an expert in bioweapons. He was also one of the key UN weapons inspectors in Iraq. He became very concerned about the U.S. and U.K. claims of WMD in Iraq in the build-up to the Iraq War in 2003. And basically, the Ministry of Defense in the U.K. leaked his name and his identity to the press. Pretty much what happened to Valerie Plame Wilson here in the United States. So a parliamentary committee tasked with investigating the planted intelligence on Iraq asked Kelly to testify, which he did. Several days after his testimony and while preparing for a trip with his wife, Dr. Kelly was found dead in a park nearby his home, which was ruled a suicide. On the day that he committed that suicide, he had sent an email to New York Times reporter Judith Miller in which he said, many dark actors are playing games. But here's the latest. Evidence regarding the death of government weapons inspectors David Kelly is to be kept secret for 70 years. In a highly unusual ruling by Lord Hutton, who chaired the inquiry into Dr. Kelly's death, medical records, including the post mortem report, will remain classified until after all those with a direct interest in this case are dead. The Mail on Sunday reported. And the 30-year secrecy order has also been placed on written records provided to Lord Hutton's inquiry which were not produced in evidence. The Ministry of Justice said decisions on the evidence were a matter for Lord Hutton to decide. 
So, essentially, <laughs> no credible expert believes that Dr. Kelly actually killed himself. Yet, Lord Hutton continues to not only force the suicide claims down the throats of the medical experts who examine Kelly's body and of the British public, he has now also sealed all of the records. If Kelly really killed himself, then why are the medical records being sealed? It's very simple. If Dr. Kelly actually did commit suicide, then his medical records obviously shouldn't be sealed. There no, really wouldn't be any reason to seal them. So that's just a little update on that story. <laughs>